Today we start with a scripture passage. It's meant a lot to me as I've read it and found courage in it. Here it is. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the oil crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stall, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. Habakkuk 3 verses 17 and 18. I ask you to observe what a disastrous situation is being described in this passage and to notice how courageous is the faith that is expressed. It is as if the writer were actually saying, even if I am forced to undergo the extreme condition of not knowing where to find my next meal, and although my house is empty and my fields yield no crops, and I see the evidence of divine pestilence where I once saw the fruits of God's plentiful providence, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I believe that these words are worthy of being written forever in stone with a diamond tool. Oh, by God's grace, may they be etched deeply on the tablets of each of our hearts. Although the above verse is very concise, it nevertheless implies or expresses the following thoughts of the writer. That in his time of disaster and distress, he will flee to God that he would maintain his spiritual composure under the darkest of circumstances, and that in the midst of everything, he would delight himself with a sacred joy in God and have cheerful expectation of God, his Father. Heroic confidence, glorious faith, unconquerable love. What a beautiful challenge, writes Philip Doddridge to us, to keep that verse close to us, even as we face whatever is coming our way. Last night I heard a robin sing in the rain, and the raindrops patter made a sweet refrain, making all the sweeter music of the strain. So I thought, when troubles come, as trouble will, why should I stop singing just beyond the hill? It may be that sunshine floods the green world still. He who faces a trouble with a heart of cheer makes the burden lighter. If there falls a tear, sweeter is the cadence in the song we hear. I have heard your lesson, bird with spotted wing, listening to your music with its tune of spring. When the storm cloud darkens, it's the time to sing. This was written by Evan Eugene Rexford. And as a reminder today, there is a song, as we remember, that no matter what comes, we can choose to rejoice in God our Savior.